technological advancements, climate change, energy consumption. Our world is ever evolving and requires its citizens to constantly adapt. So why shouldn't our cities adapt right along with us? Our cities of tomorrow need to be smarter. Researchers at Western University's Faculty of Engineering are discovering new ways to incorporate information technology into our day-to-day -day lives that ensure our cities of tomorrow are more sustainable and efficient. A smart city is a city that uses information and communication technology to enhance the quality and performance of urban life. I primarily work on modeling the microclimate effects on buildings. From building perspective, it is subject to climatic load that varies with season, with time, type of use. In order to dynamically control the operation of the building, we have to use lots of information. We use high-performance computing-based modeling and simulation to analyze the benefit of architectural details, building materials. What excites me in the city of tomorrow is the ability to bring all this big data, consolidate it, analyze it, visualize it, to design, construct, operate sustainable buildings that have less impact on the environment. Fundamentally, you know, smart city relies on massive data collection. The critical challenge is how to support large number of devices with limited spectrum. Our goal is to improve the communication efficiency. Approach is to manage the resource sharing mechanism in a crowded network and respond to all different application needs in a timely way. The future more interconnected society will generate more data but creating more opportunities for us to utilize so that we can operate the city infrastructure and provide city services in a more efficient way. My research is around data analytics. It's applying artificial intelligence and machine learning to make energy use more efficient and to reduce energy consumption. The project I'm working on is anomaly detection with smart meter data. My team works to build models to learn from this data what a normal behavior is, and then they are able to detect anomalies. I'm working with UtilySmart here in London. They help utilities and commercial customers with their energy efficiency. We offer very diverse opportunities to work with industry partners and that prepares them for the real world. For industry partners, it gives them the access to cutting-edge research. It gives them opportunity to try the latest and greatest technology. Western Engineering has been helping us uh, with Green Button. Green Button is a standard that provides energy data to third parties to develop applications. So you're going to be able to go to an app store and say, hey, I'd like to be able to try this latest software to manage your energy consumption. Budweiser Gardens is a large entertainment and sports venue here in London. The main expenses at events are energy costs. Event Assist help estimate the cost of utility when they are booking future events. We develop the prediction model that will go into the Event Assist application. Now they can have one application for all of the facilities and be able to benchmark and manage their consumptions, operate more effectively, reduce their hydro costs, and maybe create more jobs. Western students will gain a knowledge that is actually leading edge. We were the first in Ontario to do a lot of this thing, so this will now give them a competitive advantage for a job in the future. Working with these partners, so we are analyzing and deliver services that are efficient, that will make our smart city a reality. The cities of tomorrow will be highly connected, intelligent, and convenient. Big data is very exciting. The more data that's being collected, the more smart services we are able to deliver. Working with Western, I think we're going to help transform the utility business. City of tomorrow will give us a better quality of life and preserve environment for generations to come. And our students make a difference both in Canada and around the world.